it's me Veronica and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually going to be the February YA subscription box from I Smell Books. So if you guys want to see what came in the newly revamped box, then make sure you stay tuned. So as I said in the intro, this is the February YA subscription box. Now I did tried to film this earlier and it didn't work out too well so this is actually the second time I'm filming it so I did take out the wiggly worm packaging that was inside so what's left in here is just the items itself it makes it a lot easier I'm not having wiggly worms all over the floor or all over my room so it makes it so much easier for those of you who know the hassle of trying to pick them all up it's not easy so without further ado let's dive into the February 1 box and our theme for this month was called Come Away. And right on top here is your, your cheeky sneak peek. Again, minus all the wiggly worms. The first thing we do have on top is our socks. Every box she doesn't tell you does include a pair of socks. And this one is themed of a bookshelf. And honestly, these are absolutely adorable and while I've loved all the socks we've received so far outside of the Harry Potter ones from last month these are definitely going to be my favorite and I will definitely be wearing them a lot while I'm reading. The next thing we have in our box is actually a little treat. It is a little box of strawberry nerds candies and this may date me but I remember eating these as a teenager so this is definitely a nice little throwback treat to have. And believe me, these will not get wasted. <laughs> the next item we have in our box is actually a little bath bomb. It comes in a little blue mesh net bag. Now, I've personally never used bath bombs before. So I'm going to be curious to see um, how, if I re have a reaction to it, I hopefully I won't. But it is a peppermint mini balm. And it is made with baking soda, cornstarch, Epsom salt, citric acid, almond oil, poly, poly oil, and essential oils. And it is from, I'm probably going to say this wrong, so I apologize to the company that made them. Um, Gaia Natural Creations. I will include their information in the description box below. But as you can see, hopefully with the lighting, it's a like purplish blue color with white mix. But the fact that it is peppermint, it I do love peppermint scent, so I'm will more than likely like this. But for those of you who might have an allergy, if you can't use it. You can always use it as a display, either in your bathroom or even on your bookshelf. Leave it in the little pouch for the space for later on. Next up, we do have our I Smell Books pin, our logo pin. And we also have two stickers this time. We do have our I Smell Books logo sticker. And it says, open, sniff, read, repeat. And then we also have our little dolphin themed sticker. Then we also have, we actually have a dolphin fin necklace. And this is by, let me see, this weather card. So I don't mispronounce the name. I do have the necklace. Where is it? Ah, it was by April's Whimsy. And it is a whale fin. I'm sorry, a whale fin, not a dolphin fin. I apologize for that, guys. But it is a beautiful silver necklace. And it is really sweet. I like it, so I know I will definitely be wearing it. But I will include the link to April's website in the description box below. 
And on the back it says you can go to her merch tab, click any item and use the special code I smell books to save 10% off on her site. And we also have a lanyard. And on one side it has the little glasses that say I smell books. And on the other side, it actually has the website. And on the bottom, it has what you know how like sometimes when you go to an event and you like a, B, a VIP pass. Well, in our case, it's actually looks like a VIP pass for the current book for the February box we actually did receive in this box, and it's Amelia Unabridged by Ashley Schumacher, and it says that this was from the. California Children's Book Festival from February 16th to 2021. So that's pretty neat. So I'm definitely going to be using that to keep my keys on because I'm constantly losing my keys in my handbag. So this way I will never lose them. And then next up we have two bookmarks. The first is a double-sided Ice My Books glasses. And then the second one actually has the wheels and it has our theme on it for this month, which is Come Away. And again, this one is also double-sided. And for those of you who love to read, you guys know you can never have too many bookmarks to go with never too many books. There is no such thing as never having enough books on your bookshelf. Bookshelf, sorry. Then we also have our open snap tag share card where you can take a picture of your box and the items and share it on social media with the hashtag I smell books so I will definitely be doing this over on my Instagram you guys can follow me over there it's scarlet book nerd and as well as on Twitter it's windy for life so I will include all of my social media links down below and then we also have a very nice letter from the author. And it says, everything is a story. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to take my glasses off to read this to you guys. Normally I can do it, but this time I can't. It says, it is all too easy as a writer to imagine yourself the god of your story. After all, you shaped it and molded it in your palm. Pinch the characters like clay until they could stand on their own two feet. Pull the strings of plot and fate, hopefully without tangling them. And from there, it's not a huge leap to God of how people respond to your story, as if writing a few hundred pages of words distinguishes your opinion from anyone else's. Amelia Unabridged has so much of my own journey with grief found family and love wrapped up in these pages part of me wants to lord my authorial intent over readers but i can't the truth is i believe what nolan tells amelia when she is trying to make sense of her world in the wake of her best friend's death everything is a story not just writing you need to find the story that means something to you a story you like telling stories belong to their readers no matter the author's intent, no matter how they envision the world, they've crafted a story without a reader, a listener, or recipient is a letter that is never sent. I hope that the people who need this story most find Amelia, Nolan, and their ragtag band of found families. I hope that the exhausted readers, the grieving readers, the readers that think nobody is listening, find their way to a story which I believe ultimately offers comfort and understanding. I hope that Amelia's new struggle with finding meaning in a world that has betrayed her at every turn, Nolan's years-long wrestle with the darkest kind of guilt, and the love they ultimately find for themselves and each other is a sigh of relief, a warm campfire in the wilderness for weary readers. In short, I hope my book returns the favor and does what so many stories have done for me throughout my life. I hope it heals. I hope it helps. And if misbehaving bookstore dogs, hidden rooms, imaginary flying whales, 
and books within books are your thing. I hope it makes you smile. I hope you enjoy my love letter to books and readers like you that make the stories worth writing. Thank you for reading Ashley Schumacher. So that really was a really sweet letter for her to write to all of the readers. And without giving too much away of the story, it gives you just enough to say, okay, I really now want to read this. I want to dive in and see what she was referring to and what she's talking about. But the next item that we have in our box is actually our monthly tea. And this is Cozy, I know I'm going to say it wrong, Cacao Peppermint Tea. It's organic cacao peppermint. Um... The ingredients and it says certified organic ingredients cocoa shells peppermint and natural flavor it is caffeine free and they do have the brewing instructions and we also have two pictures of the whales actually three one at the top and like I said you guys know I love peppermint so I'm more than likely going to love peppermint tea I actually already have peppermint tea it's actually I usually use it like when I have a migraine and usually peppermint is a good scent for migraines for those of you who might suffer from them you know what I'm talking about but definitely you definitely do smell the peppermint and you can see like the shells within it and the bits of peppermint so that is definitely going to taste really good. So I will definitely let you guys know over on Instagram what I think of the tea. When I've tried it, I'm still working on the other teas that she has sent us in previous boxes. But the teas are never a letdown at all. Then next up we actually have two books. And this was why the box was so delayed in getting to me, at least. I know others as well. We were waiting on two books. The first is the book that was additional. This is the one we were waiting on. And it's called Ahab's Return or The Last Voyage by Jeffrey Ford. And it says, At the end of a long journey, Captain Ahab returns to the mainland to confront the true author of the novel Moby Dick, his former shipmate Ishmael. For Ahab was not pulled into the ocean's depths by a harpoon line, and the greatly exaggerated rumors of his untimely death have caused him grievous harm. After hearing about Ahab's demise, his wife and child left Nantucket for New York, and now Ahab is on a desperate quest to find them. Ahab's pursuit leads him to the Gorgon's Mirror, the sensationalist tabloid newspaper that employed Ishmael as a copy editor while he wrote the harrowing story of the ill-fated Pequod. In the Penny Press's office, Ahab meets George Harrow, who makes a deal with the captain. The newspaper man will help Ahab navigate the city in exchange for the exclusive story of his salvation from the mouth of the great white whale. But their investigation, like Ahab's own story, will take unexpected, dangerous, and ultimately tragic turns. So, to tell you the truth, guys, I've never even read Moby Dick. I always thought that was, like, way beyond my reading level and the comprehension level. So I never thought I'd ever be reading it. But maybe now, because of this story, I might want to read it, or at least give it a try, give the audiobook a try. But for those of you who like nautical-themed books, this will probably be right up your alley. I will give this a try. I will let you guys know what my thoughts are if and when I ever get around to reading it. I know I will definitely, but just not right now. It will definitely be in the foreseeable future. And then the last item we have in our box is actually this month's book, which is Amelia Unabridged by Ashley Schumacher. And the cover design is absolutely beautiful. You can see Amelia on the cover with the bookcase. And it says, it's never too late to start a new chapter. And the summary of this book is, 
18-year-old Amelia Griffin is obsessed with the famous Ormond Chronicles, written by the young and reclusive prodigy N.E. Ensley. They're the books that brought her and her best friend Jenna together after Amelia's father left and her family imploded. So when Amelia and Jenna get the opportunity to attend a book festival with Ensley in attendance, Amelia is ecstatic. It's the perfect way to start their last summer before college. In a heartbeat, everything goes horribly wrong. When Jenna gets a chance to meet the author and Amelia doesn't, the two have a blowout fight like they've never experienced. Before Amelia has a chance to mend things, Jenna is killed in a freak car accident. Grief-stricken and without her best friend to guide her, Amelia questions everything she had planned for the future. When a mysterious deluxe edition of the first book of the Ormond Chronicles arrives, Amelia is convinced that it somehow came from Jenna. Tracking the book to an obscure but enchanting bookstore in Michigan, Amelia is shocked to find herself face to face with the enigmatic and handsome Annie Ensley himself. The reason for Amelia and Jenna's fight, and perhaps the clue to what Jenna wanted to tell her all along. A devastating and beautiful debut, Amelia Unabridged, is about finding hope and strength within yourself and maybe, just maybe, falling in love while you do it. Now, this definitely sounds like a book I will enjoy. Um, based off of the author letter, I can see how she, when she said that she wrote it for different types of readers, like whatever you're going through in your personal life at that moment when you read this, it may help you. And honestly, I think it could help everyone that reads it. You never know when you might be facing something in your life that, you really can't put a name on it or you don't know what it is or what could be causing it. Like those like who have different mental health disorders. This might be a book that could help you and not even, you don't even realize it. It could have like, I guess in a way, like a hidden healing power or a healing helper. Like I know for me personally, I suffer from anxiety. So I might find this story relaxing and be able to kind of like self-retrospect for myself in a way, if you understand how I'm going about that. Um, but hopefully you guys will like this. Those of you who have gotten this subscription box, you will like the story as well, as well as the other items in included. So for our spoiler card, I saved this to the end to read it to you guys. We always get a spoiler card every month and telling us what items were in here. And this, like I guess this theme was Come Away, and it was box number five. And it says, um, A Man and a Bridge by Ashley Schumacher. Ashley Schumacher follows the story where sparks fly between two teens as they grapple with grief, love, and the future in this unforgettable debut novel, sure to entice fans of Jandy Nelson and Jennifer E. Smith. 18 year old Amelia Griffin is obsessed with the famous Ormond Chronicles written by the young and reclusive prodigy Annie Ensley. They're the books that brought her and her best friend Jenna together after Amelia's father left and the family imploded. So when Amelia and Jenna get the opportunity to attend the book festival with Ensley in attendance, Amelia is ecstatic. It's the perfect way to start their last summer before college. And in a heartbeat, everything goes horribly wrong. And this, is, we also have, this book is also, is all about the swag. Enjoy your personal pass to the book festival with your own I Smell Books lanyard and some flair with the I Smell Books enamel pin, the first in the pin series. We've added two bookmarks this round because we promised swag too your I Small Books bookmark and the Come Away theme bookmark. We promised whales and we have delivered. The beautiful whale fin necklace is made by April's Whimsy. And what's a bookworm without being a nerd? Enjoy your nerd's candy reading the amazing book like a nerd inside and out. And the last thing is curl up with your cozy cocoa peppermint tea. And enjoy the moment in your book socks. 
these socks are perfect for putting the final touches to your bookworm look. And the very bottom, we do have a quote by Neil Gaiman, is a book is a dream that you hold in your hands. So if you guys like this video, then please click like. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button so you'll be able to see when I'm posting new videos. Don't forget, you want to also click the notification bell as well. I do have a lot of videos planned for this year. I'm going to try and film them um, in between a lot of things going on right now in my personal life. So I'm trying to work out an easier schedule where I can try to film and at least upload. I want to try to upload at least two videos a month, maybe three if I can. I'm not really sure right now, but I will do my best to try to upload more and more often for you guys. But if you guys like this video, again, give it a thumbs up. Tell me in the comments below, what was your favorite item from this box? And what are your thoughts just from hearing the summary of the story? Is it a story that would appeal to you? Or even the Captain Ahab story? Is that a story that would appeal to you? Let me know. So until next time, have fun reading and stay safe, guys.